the Lord. Point number one, the very first point is what? Become one part. And straight up the Taqwa, but not to be accepted. But your affairs. Organize your affairs. This is an organized thing you do in your day to day life. You can do it. In the world, I do not know what to do, in the Laylaka and the Haraka, no, let's go. If I if I'm in the Jamie Ajaka, but Tim have been a Hamanika, where I have to go. But the day and night are not sufficient for all that you want to achieve. So, what do you need to do? Organize yourself. Divide your time in your various actions, in your various actions, in your various kinds of pleasure. Organize this in a way that you can achieve what you want to achieve. So without tangible, it's not possible. Without a plan of our day, without a month of our week, what happens is that we don't know how to lead to all the different dimensions of our life. And because of that, we give priority to one and ignore the other. And then we think, well, why? Because we do too much time to one dimension of our life and ignore the other. The second problem is what? The second problem is time wasting. Our life is full of time wasting. Let me quit my Let me speak six and a half hours. Let me speak six and a half hours. Then you work from nine to five. That's seven hours. That's the last hour I spent. Seven hours of work. Then let's say you spend 45 minutes on talking to each way. An hour and a half. Okay. I'm trying to get the maximum out of it. So 45 minutes of talking to each way. So an hour and a half. Then let's say your breakfast in the morning, then your lunch and your dinner, all of this takes about an hour, it takes about half an hour, 45 minutes. The breakfast is about 60 minutes, the 10 minutes, and lunch maybe 10 to 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and dinner with your family maybe half an hour. It's about 40, 45 minutes is the meal. Then let's say your shower and your personal hygiene and all that kind of thing, probably day takes about half an hour. And then you spend time with your family, spend time relaxing, spend time with your friends, let's say an hour, maybe more, two hours, two and a half hours, so two and a half hours with your family and your friends. You put all these things together, okay, it comes to 20 hours. Do the math yourself. Go home and do the exercise. That's four hours a day, so your work outside, your traffic hours, your family time, your personal hygiene, your meals, your sleep, you take all the out. You left with four hours a day. And it's not your work, not your leisure time, not your family time, not your traffic. Where, where is this four hours? Four hours, that's 25 hours, more than 25 hours a week. You know how many courses are courses you can do now? I don't see four hours a day in my life. Why? Because those four hours a day are filled with activities. Every five, ten minutes I have three, what do I do? Put up my phone. The ten minutes, the half an hour here and go, I fill them with three. Point number one is tangible, point number two is tangible. Let's look at these two. In terms of tangible, the Ahmedans have many rewards, many traditions about how we should divide our time. Let me share two of them. It's very interesting that they force us to build tangible time. That means that you divide your time of the day. In such a way that you can And if someone, I want to make this a very practical thing that we may try to keep it and make it acceptable. 
And then when you come out of work, you really come out of work. When father will come, you get in the car, work is done. You know the story of the, of the person who was a very, very successful family like you asked him, what is the success in your family? He said, when I come home, his habit was that he would take his briefcase and before he would enter home, he would, he would put his briefcase outside the door. So this is my secret. Don't bring my work to the But the moment I enter the house, work is done. It stays outside. My plan is to keep our work to this road. I'm working for some of them. I think if you want me to do the work, I'll go back to the house. It's kind of like I'm going to do the work. I'm not going to do the work. Work. Why do you work? You know, never be lazy. The big amount of things for us to be lazy in our work. I think on the balance of work finishes, work finishes. Then you keep it coming. To the evil of the way, you need a good set of time. Then I'll keep it coming. Then you have to come to the world. Then you see that we don't keep it coming. How do you know if you become work better? You know what? When you become more committed, you know what happens one of the times? It means one of the times is what? That once in a while, a few months, you feel like speaking up. You feel like, you know what? I just feel like speaking up. Because you're not speaking up, you're speaking on the TV and losing everything. So it's the same as I'm not done with it. I'm just all day long. I don't want to feel like keeping up. And unfortunately, people feel like picking up, they pick up everything and they spend it in the Don't realize that the need that the Christian is pulling out, the same that you can't see the pain in the mountains and how it's. The heart is greater than the world. Stop trying to squeeze it back and you see the world. There's not a space for it. It's sitting beautifully. So this is one of the So the balance is what? That you have time in your timetable for work. You go to work at 9 o'clock, you come back at 5 o'clock, you start work at 9 o'clock really, and you finish work really at 5 o'clock. Second thing is my timetable is study time. I just have time in my timetable for study to manage. And I go to the end, so I leave that one. And I come to the end, and I come to the end. I will be speaking knowledge in the obligation for every believing man and every believing woman. We have to have time in our festival for knowledge. It should be the case that I if I ask, when was the last time you spoke knowledge? You have to put your head down and be like, this is my It should be the case. I should have time in my festival. Even if it's a page a day, I can have still some level of knowledge. But I can still have given some knowledge. That is the need of mine to speak knowledge. This dimension of my existence related to my intellectual realm is being fulfilled. Very important. Knowledge of three things here. One is the knowledge of reality where you uncover. That which is true, that which is reason, that which consists of the reality. Number two, the knowledge of that which consists of morality, what makes me a good person, what are the bad traits that we need, and how to avoid them, and how to build those good things, good traits. And number three, the knowledge of the actions of what to do and what not to do, the wise and the harm. Knowledge of these two the things, the Akai, the Akai, and the Akai. The reality and the morality and the action. And my daily life, I have seven hours. Remember, I said, doesn't mean you work seven hours and six, seven hours in this day. It can be 20 minutes. 20 minutes of your time. 
It's never too late. God can even get whatever I get. Get whatever I get. It can't even ever happen. It never happens. No. By the time I say, that's my time to talk about it. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Number one, what? Well, number two, knowledge. Number three is my sense of social life. My sense of people. One of the dimensions that human beings have and the need that human beings have is time with people. Priority for this family, 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 this we're not going to be able to do this. We're not going to be able to do this. We're not going to be able to do this. We're not going to be able to do this. We're not going to be able to do this. We're not going to be able to do this. We're not going to be able to do this. Imam Sadiq Ali Salam asked one of his companions, He said, Tell me how much you socialize and joke around with your friends. And his companion said, Very good. And he said, He said, Very good. 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 Number one, it's easy. 
والذي جعل لكم الليل لتفكروا فيها فيه دعوات هذا has made the night into the night into the night Allah has made it this way our body is in synchrony with nature but quality of sleep happens at night the sleep has been in the morning So the norm in our time devotion was that quality of sleep happens at night. So we have to be careful about sleep as well. The next is personal hygiene. In our personal time, we have to have personal hygiene as well. Again, we have strong hygiene for that. Use the 
the negative many people. So, number one was what? Number one was the need to be in our life and it is to Number two is our And we need to find out how many hours you have a day and you can It might start a little bit to realize that three, uh, four hours a day and setting a way of going. But we need to do it. And of course, what we do it with is what? Two and a half hours of day. Two and a half hours on average, I'm sure, that question. Do you think that what kind of vision is you have to that is two and a half hours? Can I tell you what I was doing? I was doing what I was I opened my phone. The comments I've already read, I read them again. The point that I've seen already three times, I want to get. And I'll take my own job. My own job, I can take my job, I want to know. The thing that I said to my friends, I really, 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 now they just told me because they felt like they were going to be done. You know, I'm not looking at it. I don't need to do this yet. I'm not even half looking at it. I'm just going down to see maybe something will come out. I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. But I just have 10 minutes. I have 10 minutes to see. And what's worse is that at the same time, my constant is So we have to pay attention to the Every time that you say, so it's no way it comes, it's not the Thank you, Willis. You can say, of course, and it can be a different thing. It can be a phone call to me. I know I'm going to phone call, so tell me a phone call. When I tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, I make that phone call. Thank you, Willis. I'm going to say, I'd like to come in the end, and I'll ask the question. They just say to me. He says that there are so many books that I've read, so many phones that I've read, that sometimes there's one period of time when I take the bus and get home, and the bus is not a bus stop. Cancel, delay, this and that. Because there's eight volume books, an eight volume Arabic book that I finish in those delays in the bus. Then I know which book I read in those 10 10 minutes I had because. Those books at the end of the back, there's all these notes, so I could just write that and write that back. We have scholars who wrote books on their channels while they're traveling between cities. Important books. When we commute, we travel 45 minutes of traffic. How many courses could you take? We complain about traffic, but sometimes it's traffic is not the How we use the time? How we use this time? The time that we say you're out, fill it with something. Yeah. 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 You can Google it. You can research this. Science shows that the brain, the human brain, cannot multitask. We just can't multitask. We don't have the capacity to When our brain has too many things, it just flips from one to the other so quickly. 
And now see what happens. They begin to go for it. Because so many things. Forget the stress that it creates on you. Forget the amount of the amount of things that it's going to kill because it's something that might hurt. But it comes to it. It changes me by seeing the same time as talking to somebody and going through a few different things for them. It's a little surprise. How does it work? Even in food, we have food that I'm not going to go when we come and pick up the food, for example. You would look at this apple and it's very good to eat it. You know when I read this, I read from the book of Jesus. It's not something. I just read it, but you don't see what it is. I like chocolate. I'm not going to myself with it. I love chocolate. Most times I pick up my cup of tea and my chocolate, and I have it in front of my work, and I'm having it while I'm at And it's funny, I read, where am I talking about? I so much money with it. I don't think that's the story. It's very tasty, but I don't want to eat it. You know, it's interesting. I had this realization for one day I had breakfast. You know, the best of food in the sun is common. It's got the most dangerous stuff in the world. That's right. But that's what I'm using to cook with the rest of the food. That's what I'm using. That's what I'm using. Then you get to bite into it and get all juicy and stuff like that. But still, I just feel like you have it. There's something that what is the purpose of that? Allah has made the best of fruit, the most tedious and the most time-consuming to his life. Because then we sit down and taste it. Sit down and enjoy it. Have 20 minutes for your breakfast and really enjoy it. And after you know this, sit down and talk to me now to take 10 minutes and then give it to the chocolate in my mouth. And then you will just eat it. And it's the real chocolate. The real chocolate. I look at us and we enjoy food and chocolate. You can't remember. We're too constantly busy. And everything is affected. Our relationship is affected because while we're talking to our wife, I'm already thinking of my meeting and this is everything else. I mean, I have some conversation with somebody and I'm feeding some funny quick on my, on my Facebook and I'm eating and doing my food. Things are everything is connected. What is that everything is connected? If we want to make sure we are balanced, if we want to have efficiency to everything we do, efficiency, including the food, if we can't think of it, we keep it clear. You know what, brother, and sister, what happens when you're like this? You get hurt and get tired. Now you go to work, start the whole thing with you. Those that have studied the Quran, when they have studied the Quran in the mouth, they all complain. In my salah, I just can't have bread with the heart. I complain when I talk it, I can't have bread with the heart. Yes, I'm right. It doesn't start with my mouth. Don't say, okay, I say from tomorrow, I'm going to start with our bread with the heart in my mouth. It's not going to work. Forget it. Start with your food. Start with your food. Forget that. Don't say, start with your food. When you're having your food, you're having apples, put them in your mouth, chew it. Chew it a few times, enjoy the juice of the juicy apples. Chew the nice juicy apples. Chew the nice chocolate if you like it. I hope that's healthy food, actually, not just chocolate. It is dark chocolate, it's fine. <laughs> but, but eat it well, put it in the meal. And then you get food and so fat. And then you realize that this is where it starts. And then slowly, slowly, week in, week out, month in, month in, month out. Where you realize in everything you do, there's time for that. Every 10 minutes, I, I get a lot of elderly on my phone. I've got to tell you, I know I'm supposed to be doing this, I'm not doing a thing here, I know I'm supposed to make this phone call. I'm telling you guys, when I put this on the phone, I can't help it. I'm interested in all the ones that work. 
then no one else will make up for us or you. Do some sort of worship. The question is, how do you think it's going to be? 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 Well, I'm trying to be careful to use the language of 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 the language so they have to be able to get to the This is where it comes to you. This is where it comes to you. This is when the scholar of Allah says, when a student comes to you and says, I want the highest level of perfection, I want to see the highest level of perfection, I want to see the highest level of perfection, I want to see the highest level of perfection, I want to see the highest level of perfection, I want to see the highest level of perfection, I want to see the highest level of perfection, I want to see the highest level of perfection, I want to see the highest level of perfection, I want to see the highest level of perfection, I want to see the highest level of perfection, I want to see the highest level of perfection, I want to see the highest level of perfection, Thank you. Take you back 
No more. No more than under this. No more than sun and rise again. Not sun over again. And the number one is that you know, don't do that. Don't do that because of bad things. Bad things happen. And the two, that when the bad things happen, when things get wrong and uncomfortable, we just can't be stupid at this thing that's happening. And when you do that, you say, oh, this is when you look to see what you have to do. That's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. After a bad thing, for example, the house was bad thing, I haven't showered, I haven't eaten, and I haven't eaten something for one. Or perhaps you want to put in that picture in the house, and now it's at fault. Each for everyone is too much more important than what we have to have. And when you get to the first person, you want to see what you see that type of person that's in the night when it's open. Sometimes it's there to have to take that type of person. That one person is that person. But I'm going to let you go to the movement of the spirit. And this comes obviously with seeking help as well. This is where the teacher starts to come and just come and consult the person. Consult the person. Consult the mentor. Consult the teacher. Consult the When I ask, for example, I ask you to say to these three things, how do I know which is the most powerful book you have? It's when you approach the person. So, that day happened, the second time happened, it's very normal. All of us have it. The three in one is not to up. And three is to then give us the spirit. I pray for a lot of us to find out if we can see the spirit of 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 Your father said that the child that the old son is what the son is. Then he said that the old son is we are the old son. And we are in need of your God. We are in need of your attention. We need your money. Oh, our Imam, we waited the whole year to come to this night to be able to come close to you. And on night when we night we remember the old friends. We remember how your father will come to the old friends and sit very sweet and head on the head of the old friends and pray for the old friends. Ya Ima, your blessed hand on my head. Be the Lord, a battle of you. A glorious name, a certainty. The news was born, a battle A glorious name, a certainty. A fall of time. If that's the song, the stress is all, I've been in the sun. 
فجلل الحسين كما يجلل الثقل إذا بعدت هما إمام الحسين لازم يكون everything happening and when this happened he went to the battlefield like an eagle he went to the protection of Kassim he went for the defense of Kassim he attacked the man and when the man was attacked the people came the horses came and the battle took place horses came here horses went there Kassim at the bottom and his body being trampled no his body being trampled no Kassim the voice becomes clear nothing happens until until the narration says that I saw it until death come down, and then a scene transpired. I saw him all my lost pain, and yet I'm going to ask him to think that he's already seen. It is hard for me that you call out to your uncle, but he can't answer you. It is very, very hard for Hussein that you call out to him, but he does not benefit you. Then the narrator says, Imam al Hussein came down. He picked up this body. He picked up the body of Imam al Hussein. He brought the chest of Hussein on his own side. He put the hatchet of God into his own chest, and he started walking towards the towards the tent. The narrator that I still remember the feet being dragged on the floor while Qasim is being taken, and Imam Al Hussein places Qasim near Ali Akbar. Then he looks up to the sky. He knows what's happening in the tent. He knows what's happening to the women in the tent. He says, "Stop it, I'm not going to be a mercy. Stop it, I'm not going to be." Someone, yeah, I'm going to be here. Not for us.